All right, hi. So, uh, welcome back to another tutorial slash patch from scratch. Um. Uh, yeah, slash jam session. Um, today I'm going to be sort of going through, um, my workflow in Orca, um, and maybe in Ableton, um and just giving you guys some tips and some techniques that I use um, in Orca and sort of explaining it as I go. Um, yeah, so first, uh, I think I want to talk about BPM. I don't want it to be 73 BPM. So self uh, or script um, allows you to call scripts and you can change the BPM by writing this and banging it. And you can see down here the BPM has changed. Um, you can change that dynamically, which we might get to later. Um, yeah. I'm going to open protocol, which will let us see um, sort of MIDI information as it happens. Um, so I'm going to be using Pilot um, along with Orca and kind of going in depth on maybe some of the things in Pilot. Um, so Pilot's a companion app for Orca that receives um, UDP messages. The operator for UDP in Orca is um, semicolon. And then the first inlet is your oscillator. Um, and they're listed here. Um, SI, sine wave, SW, saw wave, um, SQ is square, uh, TR is uh, triangle, then there's various um, uh, like sort of percussive stuff over here, and then uh, the 8 and 4 are, are, I believe, either like FM tones or uh added harmonics in some way um stacked or or octave based um and then there are effects in pilot so uh first inlet is our oscillator second is our octave and our note and then it's our velocity and um, our our note length, I think. So So one thing we can do immediately and pressing spacebar pauses it. Um, just showing you CC message. I'll close that for now. Uh, one thing we immediately do is modulate that delay time, uh, randomly and our velocity randomly. So if I go up and use X, I can move whatever this inlet is, um, um, on the X and Y axis. So it, it teleports it. So I can say one down. I also want a random velocity and I want that random velocity between zero and Then one thing to remember is that everything is between zero, between A and, between zero and Z, which is 36 characters. So um, when you're sending MIDI CC or, or, or values that are between zero and 128, um, it's divided uh, up until 36 values. Um, and I have a video on sending MIDI CC um, in Orca on my channel. Um, Now we can get into the oscillator. So I'm going to use J, and I'm just pausing. If it stops, it's because I press space bar to pause. Um, we can use J to copy that um, that trigger information down, however many we want to, um, to jump. Um, and I'm going to say 
zero, which is our first oscillator, um, and then the type of waveform that I want. So I can say I want it to be sine. Oh, sorry, zero OSC. And you can sort of see um, how the number um, is um, is changing the timbre of of those oscillators. So I can do something like multiplying two by. To change that tamper dynamically, and we can change our our um, our triggers dynamically, our delay uh, of the clock. Now you can o you can also shape the envelope. in the same way that you can shape the oscillator. So zero envelope, and then it's attack, decay, sustain, release. So. There's also an operator that is um, random envelope. Uh, and random envelope um, refers to any um, uh, any of the oscillators. Uh, but let's change our notes over here. So I'm going to use X again just uh, for navigating through things. Five spaces down, or four spaces down, Oop. and then T. Um, the first inlet for T um, is how long you want something to be. So this is like going to be our sequence. Putting random notes in, and then we can count through our sequence with a clock. Um, Um, another thing that I uh, would rather prefer is using uh, add and increment. So now I'm adding um, to our inlet that's going to be our note. I'm adding A, um, which is going to be sort of the root note. Um, or it can be sort of any note. Um, but um, since the numbers start from zero and I want to start from A, I'm going to um, add A to it. And then I'm going to increment um, a number up until seven. So what this does is it is counting to seven at increments of four. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to do um 
Anyway, yeah. I'm trying to figure out how to do the 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 major notes or minor notes. Um but anyway. X or A and then random octave to So it's our first effect reverb. The first in inlet is your um your dry wet mix. And the second one is your reverb time. Um and delay bang so it'll just go that way and when it hits something it'll stop controls the feedback of the delay.